Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is a woman with normal vision who is heterozygous for color blindness, X-link recessive, is also heterozygous for another gene on the X chromosome D10 map units from the color blindness gene which can be detected using DNA test. The 76 allele of the D gene and the allele causing color blindness both came from her father. She is also carrying the 53 allele of the D gene, assuming that her husband has normal vision and carries 86 allele of the D gene, what proportion of all the children will be colorblind boys carrying the 53 allele of the D gene? As usual, I recommend you to pause video here, try to solve this problem on your own first and when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. Now let's analyze this problem word by word. A woman with normal vision who is heterozygous for color blindness. That means that she has on one X chromosome normal dominant allele and on another X chromosome recessive allele. And because she has two alleles, dominant and recessive, her phenotype is normal and she is carrier. Is also heterozygous for another gene on the X chromosome. So he is a genotype of this woman, one chromosome, and he is another chromosome. I'm going to use two different colors to designate one chromosome with defective allele which cause color blindness. Let's say this is going to be allele small c. So small c allele here. And on this chromosome she has normal dominant allele which is going to be capital C. So in the same locus she has capital C on another chromosome and she is phenotypically normal because this is X-link recessive genetic disorder and for female to manifest this genetic disorder color blindness she has to have two recessive allele C. But again because she has dominant allele C here her vision is normal. Let's read next the 76 allele of the D gene and the allele causing color blindness both came from her father. So now we know that somewhere here we have allele D76, D76, because it's told that D76 allele and allele causing color blindness, so recessive allele C, both came to her from her father, so have to be on the same chromosome. She also carrying 53 allele of the D gene. That means that here on this chromosome she has allele which is D53. It is also important to understand that between uh, gene for color blindness and gene D, 10 map units. So what 10 map units? tell us. It tells us that frequency of the crossing over during meiosis between gene C and D is 10%. In 90% we are going to get the same uh, chromosomes small c D76 and C D53 but in 10% we are going to get recombinants. For example if crossing over is going to happen between gene C and T, we are going to get new recombinants small c D53 and capital C and D76. Let's read next, assuming that her husband has normal vision and carries 86 allele of the D gene. So now we know the genotype of her husband who has one normal X chromosome and D86 allele in the locus D and uh, the second sex chromosome of course is going to be Y chromosome. So Y chromosome is about 10 times smaller than Y chromosome and of course contains many times smaller number of genes and crossing over between X chromosome and Y chromosome is uh, almost doesn't happen except that X chromosome and Y chromosome has some homologous sequences here on the tips of the chromosomes which allows them 
to align during meiosis. And even if recombination happens here, it doesn't produce any new recombinants. Because this male doesn't have color blindness, we can say that at the locus C, he has dominant allele C. His vision is normal. If he would have recessive allele, he would be affected with this genetic disorder, though this X-link recessive genetic disorder, but because male has only one X chromosome, such recessive genetic disorder in males would manifest itself as dominant. So we know, because he has normal phenotype, that he also have normal dominant allele C here. Now let's read the question again. What proportion of all their children will be colorblind boys carrying the 53 allele on the D gene? In order for the male to have this genotype, he have to have defective allele for the gene C and also have to have allele D53. So D53 on the same chromosome and Y chromosome he's going to inherit from the father side. Intact chromosome, but chromosome from the mother side, X chromosome, have to undergo recombination. As a result of such recombination, we should get chromosome as follows. This is going to be one variant, and here is going to be another recombinant variant. Now we have a chromosome, small c, and D53 on the same chromosome, but such a combination happens only in 10% of the cases. And we will have 5% of this type of recombinant and 5% of this type of recombinant. I know that this part is most confusing because many of you would think that 10% recombination here would result in 10% this variant and 10% this variant. But this is not so. Take a look. In 90%, if no recombination would happen, the progeny are going to get from the mother side this chromosome intact, no recombination. So 90 variants of this kind and 90 variants of this kind out of 100 uh, meiotic divisions. And in 10%, so 10%, if happen recombination here, would get this variant and this variant. So that means 10. 10 recombinants would be also found in the progeny. And this together would give us 200. So 90 plus 10, 100. And 90 plus 10, 100 here. And 20 out of 200 is going to be the same 10%. Or well, we can reduce these numbers by half. So what's going to happen? We're going to have 45, 5, 45, and 5. So if we do our calculations on the scale of 100%, recombinants would be 5% plus 5% and not 10% plus 10%. So 45 plus 5 would be 50, plus 50 would be 100%. I know for the many students this part is most confusing. Next step would be just to use Punnett square to solve this problem. So take a look. I'm going to use different notations this time. So X chromosome here with red color would represent recombinant with small c allele and D53 uh, allele would cause color blindness and also would have this allele. The probability to get such a recombinant chromosome by the progeny is going to be 0 0.05, which represents 5%. Probability to get chromosome that can be a result of non-recombination or recombination but recombination that we are not interested would be 95%, 0 0.95. And this is going to be a frequency uh, of these two types of the chromosomes in a gene pool. One more time. 
this is going to be genotype small c and D53. This genotype means any other variants and combinations with the non recombinants or this variant of the recombination. This variants would make 90% probability and this variant would make another 5%. So together 95%. And here is a genotype of the male parent X chromosome, normal X chromosome and Y chromosome. Now let's build simple Punnett square and let's take a look what's going to happen in their progeny. So defective X chromosome inherited from the mother side which cause uh, color blindness and normal X chromosome inherited from the father side, defective X chromosome inherited from the mother side, normal Y chromosome inherited from the father side, normal X chromosome from the mother side, normal X chromosome from the father side, normal X chromosome from the mother side, normal Y chromosome from the father side. Let's also add frequencies of these chromosomes in the gametes of the male. So do not forget that here we are talking about gametes. Male gametes are going to be sperm cell and female gametes are going to be egg cell. Probability that male would have a sperm with X chromosome in it is going to be 50%. So 0 0.5 probability that male would produce sperm with Y chromosome in it would be another 50%. So 0 0.5. Our question was what is the probability that male progeny would have small c allele and D53 allele. So would be colorblind and would have this allele. And this is going to be this genotype here. So let's circle it. But the probability is not going to be one quarter. We have to multiply this number and this number. So probability that male would get defective X chromosome from the mother side, particularly this one would be 0 0.05 and probability that he is going to get Y chromosome from the father is going to be 50% or 0 0.5. If we multiply 0 0.05 times 0 0.5 we are going to get 0 0.025. And this is going to be our answer today. Let's check all the variants of the answers. And as you see, this is going to be answer A. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.